Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT Smart Energy Meter Monitoring with a GSM. In this project, we are using Arduino Nano Microcontroller, 16 cross to LCD display, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, relay, optocoupler, energy meter with load, and as well as GSM module. Let's come to the connection. LCD is connected to D2 to D7 and relay is connected to D9 and optocoupler is connected to D8 JSA module is connected to D10 and D11 and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is connected to transmitter pin of Arduino Nano Here this LCD is used to display the energy meter units and cost we had set 1 unit for 2 rupees and this ESP8266 Wi-Fi model is used to update the data to the ThingSpeak and this optocoupler is used to send the pulses of energy meter to the Arduino Nano and this relay is used to trigger the load and JSM module is used to control the load by SMS for the power supply here we are using two power supplies this AC wire is for energy meter and this adapter is for controlling unit this adapter is used to convert 230 volts AC to 5 volt DC that 5 volt DC here we are giving to this board this board is used to distribute 5 volts power supply to the all the components before on the kit we need to insert the sim into the JSM module we have to use Airtel, Idea, Vodafone or BSNL no need to use Geo sim we have to place sim like this and to give internet to the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module we have to set the hotspot of smartphone open the hotspot setting In our for setting, we have to set username as IoT project without space and no capital letters and numbers. And password should be 129 and AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz. Then uh, turn on the hotspot. Here we can see zero device is connected. Now let's turn on the kit. Here you can see welcome message and it is waiting for GSM signal. If GSM got signal, it will display GSM initialized successfully. Then out, then it will turn on the load. In our spot settings also here we can see one device is connected. Now open the things pick. Click on here. Here you can see we have two graphs. One for unit and one for cost. To download this data we need to click data import and export here we can see download option here we have date and time entries field 1 is unit field 2 is cost and we can also clear the data by clicking channel setting at the down we can see clear channel no need to delete channel here you can see channel is being cleared 
after clearing the channel go to the private view here you can see data will be cleared to update data to the things peak it will take 15 to 20 seconds in lcd display we have one unit with cost of two rupees in a, in things peak also we can see unit one and cost two by clicking on this red dot we can see the date and time to turn off the load we have to send sms as star zero hash if sms will receive to the gsa module in lcd display we can see load off and load will be turn off it will reply back to the register phone number as load off to turn on the lo load we have to send star 1 hash Here you can see load on and it will reply back as load on to the register phone number. To view the status of energy meter we have to send sms as star small s hash. Here you can see status SMS send. In mobile phone also we got unit 3 and cost 6 rupees. By this way this project will be worth. If you like this video don't forget to like, share, subscribe.